what's up what's up what's up you already know this is peach come on this is peach and tonight we're gonna be making dinner for dinner we're gonna be having spaghetti it's real simple real quick easy meal i did not want to cook tonight but my eldest son keeps saying can you please cook me spaghetti and so we're gonna make him some spaghetti it's gonna be real simple real quick meal one of the easiest meals you can ever make let's get into it to make this meal i'm gonna be using three pounds of ground beef i'm gonna be using two jars of prego because i want it real saucy so we can have leftovers for lunch and then i'm gonna use two packs of the thin spaghetti noodles i get these free with wick um i also have a green pepper and an onion so we're gonna cut up the pepper and the onion to put into our um spaghetti but in the meantime let's get the water on the stove fill up your pot with water this is my stainless steel pot from miss Brittany dove thank you miss Brittany dove think about you every time i use it i still have not cleaned my pots with the barkeep stuff i'm gonna do a video about it really really soon really really soon great keep saying that when it's soon how soon I'm gonna let that fill up. That's gonna take a minute. All right, guys. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut up my onion. This is the onion that Daddy had used, and what we had left over, we put in a Ziploc baggie. I know I'm gonna use this whole thing, so I'm just putting my trash in here. Now I don't peel my onions. I just cut it, and then I take off like this first layer. Cause who got time to peel the onion? Who got time for that? I'm about to, to peel onions as a so kid. Here I have a pot of water. And we just put it on. What I'm going to do is put some salt. Let's sprinkle you some salt. Not too much. And some salt. I add the salt. I also add a little bit of avocado oil. I get this from Sam's Club. And I know some people say you don't have to do this anymore. You can add like cold water once your water boiling and all the stuff. But I like to do it this way. So this is the way I do it. Salt. Um, you can put canola oil, vegetable oil if you want to, or you can use avocado. Show kitchen. Um, back to cutting this onion. So I'm just slicing it. I'm gonna make these actually really small. When I put onions in spaghetti, I like them like chopped. I guess that'll be the correct term to use. I love these eat meat knives from Miss Warren, Mrs. Warren, Cheryl Warren from the Warren family. Bible. Thank you so much for these. Did y'all order these knives? I seen a lot of y'all actually order these. Do y'all like them? I'm loving these things. I'm just gonna dice. I'm talking about you don't gotta really put no work into it. No real work. I'm just literally pressing down one time. We're just making them small. I should have did my big knife. I could have cut them all at once. Like, it would have been quicker than this. But, Auntie Who, how y'all doing? I don't know when y'all going to be watching this video, so I ain't going to say tonight or today. Uh, you know, how y'all doing? Just, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on in y'all lives? I hope y'all elevating. I hope y'all elevating, achieving your goals, staying away from the negative energy. That's all your girl trying to do. Stay away from that negativity, baby. Focus on your goals. This is like a lot of onion, but we like onions. Next, we're going to move on to our bell pepper. So I'm just putting that to the side. Bell pepper. And you can cut your stuff however you want. Like, there's people who got to cut it a certain way because that's the way you're supposed to cut it. Listen, this is your house, your kitchen. You do what you want to do. Don't be letting people tell you how to run your house. That's the whole reason why we grow up and move from with our parents, right? Like, when you a kid, you be like, I can't wait to leave my mama's house, get my own place, so I ain't got to hear nobody tell me what, what to do no more. That's the whole reason why we leave home. If you want somebody to tell you what to do, you can go stay with your mama and your daddy, right? You don't want to stay with them, so this your own house. Do it your own way. I think it's good in life to make your own mistakes. Now, some mistakes can be avoided. So I do listen to um, other people's input. My daddy taught me that. He said, always listen to other people, you know, when they got some constructive criticism, you listen to it and you consider, consider if you want to move forward with it. If you don't want to, if after you consider it, it don't fit what you desire, don't do it. 
So that's the way I've always been. I know that I'm never too old to learn something new. I don't know everything in the world. My 12-year-old teaches me a lot about life, not just about like YouTube and video games. He teaches me a lot about life and happiness. That's why I said this before. I'm just going to say it again. God will use your children to reach you. Sometimes God can't use your parents to reach you. Sometimes God can't use your friends to reach you. Your friends living the same kind of lifestyle you live in, but he'll come and have your child, a child, talk to you. So listen to your babies. Don't be one of them people like, you don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me X, Y, and Z. I'm your parent. Listen to them kids. Sometimes God use your kids to talk to you because he know that's the only person you'll listen to or he knows that's the only um voice you take seriously some of us only will take our children seriously we won't listen to nobody but our kids i'm gonna cut one more am i cooking or you cooking homeboy whisper that's enough and that all manly raspy was that's enough hold on homeboy who cooking you and me see this is the thing for those of y'all who watched our cooking video when daddy just was making his little buffalo wings and i started telling him how to cook and somebody was like, you need to shut up and let that man cook. Stop trying to tell that man what to do, girl. I would have quit on you. Shut up. You can't tell him what to do, etc. Listen, this both of our kitchen right now, okay? And secondly, we get but who ain't want to cook tonight? Okay. Okay. The kids do like his spaghetti better than mine, but he didn't want to cook tonight. So, I'm going to cook. And I'm not adding no sugar in my spaghetti. Daddy adds sugar. He cooked ghetto spaghetti. Is he, ghetto. That is ghetto. I ain't never had sugar and spaghetti until I got with daddy and we got our own place and, and he place cooked. It was, like, it was delicious. It's like crack. It's delicious. I ain't gonna lie. The sugar and the spaghetti is delicious. My oldest son probably still gonna put some of his, but it was like the most ghetto thing I've ever done. And I thought I was ghetto, right? But that just took it to a whole nother level of ghettoness. All right, guys. So I already turned on my stove. What I'm gonna do is just slice this roll of ground beef. Okay, let's look at the camera. Slice this roll of ground beef down the middle like so. Man, I love these eating knives. This is the best gift ever. Well, one of the best gifts. All the gifts have been the best ever. I just take it and I just dump it out like this. And I always buy my rolls from Walmart. I just I just like the way it looks better. Like, I don't really got to touch it. I don't got to see it. I don't know. Call me a weirdo. Okay, that's enough. Let's see what we're going to do. Let's see what we're going and now guys what I'm going to do is start mashing up this meat I just take the regular spoon and just mash it like I like my meat to be smaller and I'm going to season the meat and everything while it's in this pot y'all going to see all that but first things first we want to mash that meat up sorry babe and we got daddy on recording duties tonight. He was supposed to be on cooking duties. Now he on recording duties. I appreciate your help, sir. Thank you for your help. I could do this without you, but it's better doing it with you. Okay, babe? It's better doing this with you. I appreciate you for everything. Y'all, we went to the park today with the kids. Daddy, y'all gonna see it in another video if we upload it. Yeah, I gotta edit. It was so funny. Um, they were talking to me. It was. Daddy was yeah, working out. First time I added some garlic salt. Not too much. I don't use the measuring cups for the newbies. Like, what is you doing, ma'am? We do not use a measuring cup. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Next, we're gonna put our seasoned salt. Y'all know in my house, we do not use no measuring cup. We just do it. Do it. Do it to the answers to tell you to stop. You're going to do it to the answers to tell you to stop. You'll hear a little voice in your head and it'll say, That's enough. Hey. What'd you say there? The oil. That is not too much oil. It's just because that's the same as still pot. It's a good pot. Use my feet there. You still recording? All right, next we're going to use our body. Uh, complete. Your meal ain't complete. Come on. If you don't use complete, one more time. Your meal ain't complete. That's right. If you don't use complete, yes, baby, this is my bop bop. I gotta have my complete. I do not cook for that. So we're at our complete. We're gonna be generous with the completes until the answers stay. That's enough. 
They said it. They said it. I heard them. Huh? Well, I think a little wild, babe. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that is sound biting. Everybody say I'm biting everybody's style these days. I'm biting everybody's style. But ain't Duval from Florida? That's a Florida thing. Come on now. He wasn't the first person saying, come on, don't be playing on me. So all of that is good in season. We're going to mix that all around. But before we do that, we are going to add these delicious onions. And green peppers. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good time. Now my house is going to start smelling like a real meal. It's already big when you put it. I would not put the seasoning. No, before that, I'm like, damn, did you put a seasoning? Put custom PG-13. Keep telling you. So what she's saying, it already smelled like a real meal. What happened? Man. Tell the people. Daddy talking tonight, y'all. He might be ready for his own channel. It's like I put a whole lot of onions and peppers, but... We love onions and peppers. Like, my kids eat onions. McIntyre, when he was a baby, he would go in the refrigerator and he would eat onions and peppers as a snack. You remember that, babe? Mm -hmm. We couldn't leave no, like, onions and peppers. I, like, I'm about to cook dinner and I got some new onions and peppers. Man, next time I know McIntyre done got them and he eating them as a snack. He love veggies. He love carrots. Like, I buy him carrots all the time. He love carrots. Baby likes tomatoes. Babies love tomatoes. He'll eat like two whole tomatoes just for fun. Daddy don't like tomatoes. Like normally if daddy wasn't eating no spaghetti, I can put real fresh tomatoes in here. Diced tomatoes and stuff like that. But you did eat the tomatoes and sausage. So why you don't eat tomatoes and spaghetti? No, not either. Like make it make sense. Like an okra or something like that. He only eat it with okra and sausage. He'll eat That's diced tomatoes with okra and sausage, or he'll eat diced tomatoes with paste tomatoes too. and paste tomato, but not in spaghetti. I can't put no diced tomatoes up in here because daddy don't like it. So if you're at home, like, so like, I know some of y'all might be at home, like, I put mushrooms, I put onion, I put fresh tomatoes or diced tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, etc. But daddy won't eat it. He will have like a whole fit. He don't eat tomato paste only in, but not in spaghetti. Yeah, so you eat it now. You remember my mama used to make that. My mama the one who turned you on to oxtails with tomato paste. Don't try my mama. So your mama was making oxtails with tomato sauce. Whatever. You got that from my mama. You got that all type of stuff. PG-13, sir. Trying to get daddy to lay off the curse. And we like the curse, y'all. You the one ain't getting cooked. Huh? You the one that ain't cooked. Now you're not a cook. Don't be hating on me. But you ain't teach me how to cook. I taught my stuff. I learned from my soul. I had to tell you. <laughs> so listen, me and daddy been together for a long time, y'all. We've been together since I was 16. He was 18. And um, we met in high school. Now, when we first, when I first got my own place, me and daddy went together like that. He was cheating on me. He was cheating on me and I was cheating back on him. We was cheating on, on each other. Don't don't tell them that. Keep that tie stuff. Okay, he said keep that tie stuff. We're not going to tell y'all about that. But anywho... I tried, I was what, 19 or 20, babe? I tried to cook like an amazing meal for him and my baby. I made some baked barbecue chicken. I made some macaroni and cheese and I made some baked beans. It was the nastiest meal ever. Mm -hmm. My macaroni tasted like water. Yes, it did. The only thing that came chicken. out good was the baked beans. The chicken was bloody. You don't remember that? It wasn't, it wasn't nothing. It was just the chicken was bloody. <laughs> the chicken was bloody. The macaroni tasted like water. Gregory stopped eating macaroni after that. That was before that. No, -uh, that was after that. It was blow. He ate it. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, the chicken was good. Oh, to, oh, until you saw the blood. Yeah. <laughs> but I came a long way, y'all. That was like literally, that was like um, what ten years ago. I done came a long way. Mm -hmm. I remember I made baked spaghetti. I would love to make y'all baked spaghetti, but Daddy don't like baked spaghetti either. He's such a picky eater. But I made baked spaghetti for the first time, and it was ten years ago because Greg was two. Back in like nine, two thousand nine. Yeah. So ten or eleven years ago, yeah, it was two. Um, my great grandma, that's just my world. She's no longer here on earth, but she's okay. definitely yeah, in my good, soul. No <laughs> so I made baked, <laughs> I made baked spaghetti, right, y'all? So when I cooked, it was just me and my baby, and I cooked a whole lot. So I was so excited. I made baked spaghetti, and it came out good. And so I went to my great grandma house and I took her stuff. She was like, I don't want that shit. I'm cursing. She was like, I don't want that shit. It ain't no sauce. What a sauce that? Well, I'm not eating it. So I'm like, please taste it. It's just, it's so good. 
and she tasted it and she was like oh my god this is so good after that she started asking me can you make me baked spaghetti with no sauce because it didn't look like it had sauce but it, it had sauce. sauce it was it just, just like soaked up you don't mm. think I used enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it became perfect because then after that, it became like the thing. Everybody in my family wanted me to make them baked spaghetti. Right. All my little cousins liked it. But look how I cook spaghetti. You know how I cook. But you're not you cooking like, tonight. It's not you, about you. But you just said, it's like, not about you. Why are you doing that ghetto shit? That ain't ghetto. <laughs> Sugar and spaghetti is ghetto bad. No. It is, it's delicious. He put water. So I'm going to use two sauces. My mama do that too, but she's on the project too. She got it. Yeah, so listen, I'm gonna use both of these. I might use one and a half, right? So daddy, if he he'll use just one jar of sauce, and then when this it's done, he one, add water. It's, this the big one. No, it's a big one bigger than that. You know that. It is. Yeah, you know that. I thought this was the biggest one that we use because it's the one I normally buy. I grocery shop. It's this one. I grocery shop. Okay. So anywho. He says the bigger one than this, but if it's not enough sauce, well, he do it regardless if it's enough sauce or not. Yeah. He put water in here and then he shake it up and then he dump it. But I won't do that. I'm like, I'm not putting water. I don't want my spaghetti to taste like water. Like, but it don't be tasting like water. His spaghetti be so fine. His little ghetto spaghetti. The hood spaghetti. I'm say the sugar got it like crack. I'm a, so why you didn't cook it tonight, babe? Well, we're gonna see if your shit tastes like. I mean, your, your stuff, food, your stuff just tastes like crack. My stuff is like crack. Ain't you hooked? <laughs> Ain't you hooked? Man, that's fine. Mm hmm. It's like crack. My stuff is like crack. Okay. Anywho, don't watch. Don't watch this with the kids. See, every time I get in the kitchen with you, I cut up bad. Yeah. When daddy's not around, I don't cut up bad. So like, when you cooking spaghetti, it don't have to be, um little small pieces if you watch my lasagna video like i was breaking them up really really small like chop 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 but with spaghetti you can't have more like fat meats like this if you want kind of like a meatball looking like a miniature meatball because it is going to go into what you don't agree with that you like them small no i'm just looking you looking at me like i'm crazy yeah. you feeling real talkative tonight i like that okay then okay then daddy Oh, okay. Okay. Listen, we cook all the kids sleep, so we, we kind of feeling it. Okay, I don't drink nah, or anything. Nah, hold on. Who we got? Oh, we got one awake. But I told you, he don't he don't bother us. This is what we cooking for, the 12 year old. He just want us to cook spaghetti. Cook tomorrow. And then, you know, the kids, the little kids eat it already, but we took the kids out all day because I'm trying to get their sleeping schedule back popping. Baby, you got to show the whole pot back popping like on the schedule. So I can focus like on YouTube like a job. Because I'm trying to do this full time to buy our house cash. We're buying our house cash. Yes, we are. We are buying our house cash. Um, I'm manifesting that, y'all. Manifest it with me. We're buying our house cash. Cash money. So I want to do what? I want to do more work on YouTube. I want to work harder on YouTube. Drop more videos. And, you know, give it my best. So the kids need to go on the schedule. And I normally don't live my life on the schedule. So we took the kids out all day today. And we didn't allow them to come home until 8 o'clock. And they came home, they took baths, they ate a snack, and they went to sleep. We had already went out and ate food. But my oldest, I feel like everybody should be good and full and sleep. But my oldest is still up. He going to be up all night playing Fortnite. So, mm, what? That shit get you full. Stop That's, cursing. I mean, it get you full. Man. What get you full? The buffet? Yeah. So he, daddy said the buffet get you full, then you get home and be hungry. Yeah. So that could be true too. But I didn't plan on cooking, especially when I seen the little kids kids sleep. But now that the little kids sleep and we only got great, we kind of being a little bit more flirty. To apologize to the moms who watching this with the kids. This ain't for you. My when I upload my um videos, I put it's not for kids. Not for kids. Who grown up? Even it ain't even about the curse words, babe. Yeah. It's about like yeah. the flirting. Yeah. We we yeah. flirt sometimes. Sometimes you flirt with me. I flirt all the time. Daddy like he don't flirt with me that often. All right, guys. So my water is finally boiling. Drop these thin spaghetti noodles in here. Thank you again, Miss Brittany Dove, for this pot. Cause now I really don't gotta break my noodles up. I already didn't. 
but it was hard to cook two packs at once so thank you and then pack number two i'm about to stir these noodles on around and my meat is also done so we're gonna drain this meat y'all see how that onion look man it's gonna be a good time oh this yeah. is what i thought i was gonna have you know some grown-up thing <laughs> look who woke up baby and guess what my oldest son fell asleep i went in there to get his phone charger and he fell asleep but now baby is awake beating on my chest because he wants to nurse and nurse and go back to sleep so i mean my meat is now cooked to my liking we're gonna go ahead and drain it please make sure you drain your meat do not pour your sauce into this oil um beef makes its own like oil it's fatty so it makes its own grease make sure you drain your meat very my meat is looking like in the sink we gonna let it drain for a little bit longer. Make sure we get all that oil out. In the meantime, let me go ahead and grab my noodles. We are done. I bought this big metal spoon from Walmart. I had it for a while, y'all. If y'all like, where you got that from? From Walmart. But I can see like they're soft. They're not sticking together or anything like that. And they're not overcooked. So we are gonna go ahead and drain these noodles. All right, guys. So my noodles are now drained. I just want to show y'all like they're not overcooked they're not sticking to each other that's why i put a little bit of oil just so i don't have to worry about them sticking together or being um overcooked well they're not gonna overcook because i watch them to make sure they're not all super slimy but yeah so that's draining over here is our meat is now fully drained so we're gonna go ahead and take this out look at those onions and them peppers what babe yeah, they'd be so nasty. If you overcook noodles, oh my God. They taste like water. Okay, so that's what our meat is looking like. I'm gonna add some sauce and start stirring it. Like I say, I don't put water. So like how this jar is, it's still like sauce in here. I'll just like dump it all out as much as I can. And then I say, okay, I can't get the rest of that. Oh, well, not daddy. Daddy gonna put some water in here, put the top on it and shake it. But let's start this around and see if we need the second and how much and sauce. I pour like half of it. If y'all can see, it's half. I'm going to just pour a little bit more because we like sauce. And then the leftover sauce, we'll just save it for when we do mozzarella sticks. Put the top on, put it in the fridge. And I am using my silicone stirrer because y'all know y'all been upgrading your girl life. Which we truly appreciate y'all. Y'all turning me on things I ain't even know exist. So thank y'all. And I'm doing the same because y'all be like, I didn't know such and such exists. Look how good this look. Man, it's going to be a good time. So I just let this heat up. You know, let that sauce warm up. I don't stir it normally. I just like stir it around like a few times and then just let it heat with the lid on. Um, but of course, this is the pot where baby broke the lid and I still ain't got no lid yet. But yeah, we just going to let that heat up. And then a little bit we'll serve it. But let's get to our noodles. Into the pot. They are fully drained. Now we're gonna add us some avocado oil. Hold on, let's let the steam go. Yeah, things, look, they look yummy, right? Girl, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum, that yummy, yummy. I got them yummy noodles. We're gonna add us some avocado oil in here. I'm gonna be a little generous because it's two pots. Somebody gonna say, that's all that. Oh, that's too much oil. Girl, this is my house. Remember that. This is my house, okay? Do it differently at your home if you like. Show home. You do it what you want to do. But over here, that's how we're going to do it. Now we're going to add us some parsley. Which y'all don't see my parsley. Which is I already weird. started adding the parsley off camera. So this is the parsley. I bought this from Sam's Club. It's real cheap. It lasts you a lifetime. You can use fresh parsley if you want like that fresh look. But we're going to use this. Don't worry about it being too much right now. I'm going to stir it. All right, guys, this is the finished results of my noodles with the parsley and the avocado oil added. I stirred around. That's why if you saw at the beginning how it looked like I'm just putting so much in one spot, it's because I knew I was going to stir it so it didn't matter. Um, these are a little bit brown because they are whole grains. They're the whole grain thin spaghettis, not the regular. And I get these once again free with wick. If you do get wick, you can get whole grain pasta instead of whole grain bread. You can get pastas and all that good stuff. I like to buy them when they're on BOGO lately because of COVID. They have not been on BOGO. All right, guys. And then this is my sauce. I turned it off. My, my meat my meat sauce. I already turned my stove off. It's already warmed up to my liking. We're going to go ahead and make a bowl. I'm not going to fix plates because the kids all sleep now. Um, So... I'm playing work. They all sleep. Should have them on the schedule if we continue to do this all week. 
they'll be on the schedule so we're just gonna fix one bowl just to show y'all all right guys so we're gonna start making plates i got the bowl right here we're gonna take us some noodles mm -hmm. these are the thin spaghetti like why are they so skinny it's because they're thin spaghetti take us some noodles i'm not even hungry baby you gonna eat this so daddy gonna eat this plate i'm not making me a plate i'm not hungry i'm gonna eat this for lunch tomorrow all right so now we have our pasta like so now we're gonna add our sauce i'm gonna do one more scoop like so and then i'm gonna stir it around because i like to make sure the noodles are saucy like my grandma said don't nobody want no dry ass so this yeah. is what our pasta currently looks like with the sauce and i've stirred it but it ain't pretty enough for you girl. So we're gonna add us some Parmesan cheese. You can add fresh Parmesan if you like, but I'm gonna add the um craft Parmesan cheese and some parsley. Just mm -hmm. take your Parmesan cheese, whatever kind of Parmesan you like. Remember, that's your house. We like the grated Parmesan cheese. You're gonna take that and you're gonna sprinkle that around on your plate. And I'm making a mess because I'm holding this camera in my opposite hand. So we just don't excuse the mess. I'll wipe it up and do like a end. This is how it's gonna look. I'll do one of those. And then next we're gonna add our parsley. I'm gonna add a little bit on here, but I'm gonna stop recording so I can clean it up and get y'all a clean finish look. All right guys, and this is our end results. We have spaghetti and I added the Parmesan on top and the parsley just to give it that nice, pretty, look when you have your food look like this it looks more desirable people really want to eat it so i do serve my children their food like this all the time not just say daddy i eat my food like this i make my plate the prettiest if this was my plate it'll look even better than that i just feel like you work so hard in the kitchen why not have a pretty plate to go you know with your hard work you deserve it and plus i'm greedy <laughs> i like it. my plate's a little pretty because i'm pretty. how simple that was spaghetti is like the simplest meal ever okay i'm talking about my 12 year old can really make his own spaghetti he even asked me like can i just make my own spaghetti it's so simple 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 i hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you did you know what to do you know what to do go ahead and hit a like you like hey hit a like you like hit a like you like for your girl thanks for watching bye